first off, let you know I'm from America, a little place called Idaho, which doesn't even sound like a real place. It sounds like a woman introducing herself as a prostitute. <laughs> Who are you, Idaho? <laughs> hey, um, I like riding motorcycles on your island here. I appreciate it very much. Uh, I get hassled a lot. Uh, I have this big bike I built, hardtail, American V-twin engine. I was riding into London one day, a nice sunny day. Come across Westminster Bridge in the shadow of Big Ben. I'm digging it because I'm a Yankee boy from Idaho in London on a bike. I make the right onto the embankment on the river there, and, and suddenly there's just met police everywhere, cops everywhere, just stopping people. And as an American abroad, I can't take the police seriously here because you don't have any <laughs> guns. So <laughs> I, get up, I get closer, and two met cops jump out in front of me like, you, to the side. I'm like, all right, I'm a guest here. So I pull over, shut the bike down, take my helmet off. Biggest cop there walks up to me, and the first thing he says to me is, we are detaining you under the UK Terrorist Act. I'm thinking, wow, this beard's coming in a lot better than I thought it was. <laughs> I said, really? How can it be a threat to your country? I'm an American. How can this bike be a threat to your country unless it's so loud it's disturbing an MP behind me in his office as he's trying to cook the books and keep his white ass out of jail? <laughs> so I, I, and he said, no, sir, the problem is your registration plate. Because I had a license plate on there from Idaho. And I went, yeah, what's the problem with that? And he goes, well, across the river, we have a secret camera set up. And as you went by, we couldn't read the numbers. You know, I went, oh, secret camera. And he goes, yes. And as a joke, I said, really, where's your secret camera? And I swear to God, he goes, you see that tree right across the river right there? It's <laughs> mounted on the pole next to that tree right there. I'm like, good luck with the war on terror, my friend. There you go. <laughs> Anywhere else in the world, let you go. Have a nice day. You don't fit the profile. Be on your way. No, only in Britain, because you love paperwork. He wrote me a receipt for not being a terrorist. <laughs> Because I bring it with me wherever I go in case I'm pulled over. I can go, I, I have my receipt, officer. I'm not actually a terrorist. <laughs> I'm looking at this. I go, okay, what do I do? Is there a, there a fine? Do I go to court? And he goes, no, no, no. Look at the outcome code and you'll see what to do. And I'm like, what outcome code? Then he gives me a second sheet of paper that has all these codes and numbers and letters and crap on it and sentences. I'm like, all right, fine. I go, what do you do? Look it up. I'm like, all right, outcome code number one. I look on here, outcome code number one, and it reads, no further action. You could just tell me that? <laughs> Right here, are you so busy? And then I'm looking at the other outcomes. I see the next one is advised. You know, I could always like advice. That's fine as an outcome. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Third one, verbal warning, which probably involved a bit of this. I mean it. <laughs> I'm sure that really intimidated the rioters. Hey, stop it. I mean it. <laughs> the fourth one says arrested. Like you'd have to put that down as an outcome. Hey, well, why am I being handcuffed? What the hell's going on here? Uh, read up your outcome code there. Okay. Oh, I see arrested. I mean arrested. Thank you. Hey. But, uh, so while he's writing this up, I'm standing there pulling other people over. This woman cop walks up, and she, I feel, you know, for she's trying to be the, she walks up and she goes, is this your motorbike? Don't ever call motorcycle motorbikes, because it sounds like there's a bell on the handlebars and I got a paper route. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's my motorcycle. And she goes, well, it shouldn't be on the road. I go, what are you talking about? She goes, well, look at it. The registration plate is mounted off the axle. It should be mounted off the rear mudguard. There's no turn indicators on the back or the front. There's no suspension, and these pipes are way too loud. And she looks at me and she goes, this bike shouldn't be on the road. What do you have to say to that? Now, I'm a comedian. <laughs> and that sounded like I was being heckled. And comics' job, when they're being heckled, is to try to come back as quickly as possible, no matter what the outcome, just get that phrase out there, just get the upper hand. And before I could think about it, I looked at her and I went, well, you're a woman, and I don't think you should be a cop. What do you think of that? <laughs> and as soon as I said that, a little voice in my head went, oh, crap. Because <laughs> you know in America, they just would have pulled the guns out and shot me repeatedly and then went stop or I'll shoot bang 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 <laughs> but I'm in Britain and the time stood still everybody went <gasps> even guys getting arrested for terrorism being handcuffed in the vans looking at me going I'm sure glad I'm not that guy you <laughs> before I could say anything like I'm just messing around I'm an idiot you know I, I don't mean that I'm making anything up the guy writing me the receipt next to me the met he just I don't see him I just hear this I turn to look at him and go, are we cool? He wouldn't even look at me. He's like, come on, mate, you got it good. That was really good. Man. And I'm like, hey, I'm just messing around, man. I'm an idiot. Then I hear this, mate. I turn around and see these big Met cops coming at me. And they start high-fiving me in the road. And they're like, that's hilarious. We love that. And she's going, stop that. And they're like, Susan, that was funny. Let it go. Come on. <laughs> guy gives me the receipt because you better go and I go you think and I get on the bike I fire it up I go down the, the road and the last thing I see in the rearview mirror as I'm pulling away is this woman still pointing at me really angry talking to the two big guys I high five they're trying to keep a straight face because the guy who wrote me the receipt is standing behind her doing this <laughs> and that's why I like living here enjoy the rest of your night people Thank you.